I'd be interested in any, in any comments you'd have about uh, the board's uh, relationship to the various stakeholders like the government, the companies that it regulates, and the public. And uh, in that respect, any comments you might have about the importance of the independence of the board as, as the regulator? Well, I certainly endorse the importance of the board's maintaining its independent nature. Um, <clears throat> I believe that it's up to government, or I should say the le legislative assembly, to set policy. But I think an independent agency such as the board is the way to administer the policy under the under legislation and that's the way the board has always been and and the way it operates it doesn't set policy for alberta but it, what it does is it administers the policies that are set out in legislation and it it acts under the powers that is, it is given in legislation. I think the board has traditionally had a good relationship with industry. It's a, uh, it's not a love affair. We often, ha over the years I was active, we often had serious disagreements, but there was a degree of mutual respect. Uh, there was no, there were seldom cases of industry people running to the premier. Uh, I, I wouldn't say there were never such cases, but there were seldom. We also had good relations with the government departments, especially uh, the Department of Mines and Minerals. Uh, Hubert Somerville was the uh, deputy minister of that department after Ian McKinnon left to become chairman of our board. And uh, we had very good relations. Uh, again, we didn't always agree, but there was mutual respect. Uh, you also referred to relations with the public. I think they were, they were good. I think the public trusted the board, but there were always some complaints which the board endeavored to uh, respond to. Uh, but I think it was healthy, Jim. Not perfect, but healthy. George, thanks for doing this. I've enjoyed it very much. I hope you have as well. Pleasure. Uh, I've enjoyed it too.